perfect so see this seems to be working perfectly fine our yolo v7 tiny model converted into a tensor rt engine is working perfectly fine and it's rejecting all these uh, persons hello and welcome to rocket systems youtube channel in some of our previous videos we have been converting yolo v5 model into a tensor rt engine on jetson nano in this video we are going to focus on yolo v7 so i will take a yolo v7 pre-trained tiny model and then we will convert this into tensor rt engine on jetson nano now I'm going to do this steps on Jetson Nano, but if you have Jetson Xavier, you can still follow up with this tutorial because most of the, all of the steps are same. Probably in few days, I will get a Jetson Xavier device. So I will also perform all these steps again on Jetson Xavier to see how YOLO V7 after converting into a TensorRT is performing on Jetson Xavier device. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Now, first of all, I'm going to clone this repository. This repository contains all the files which we need in order to build our TensorRT engine from the YOLO v7 model, as well as do inferencing using Python scripts. Now, this repository is basically a mixture of the official YOLO v7 repository, as well as the TensorRT repository. So I've kind of mixed all those repository into one single repository where you will file all the steps in order to run your YOLO v7 as a TensorRT. Now, before we can run YOLO, v before we can start to convert the YOLO V7 into TensorRT engine, we will have to install all the libraries and the packages. Now, I have already covered this, how you can, I mean, set up your Jetson device with all the libraries and the packages in my previous videos. I'll try to put the link of that video in the description or you can watch the whole playlist. But basically, you just have to install these few libraries and then these python packages pycuda seaborn torch and torch vision that's it and then you will be ready to convert start the conversion for the tensor rt so i'm not going to explain that in this uh, video we will simply directly jump on to converting the yolo v7 into tensor rt and then we will uh, do the object detection over a video file so first let's clone this repository so this is my jetson nano device let me just quickly show it to you I have just installed XFCE desktop environment, which feels to be a very fast. So this is my Jetson Nano developer kit. Let's close this. Now I'll move inside the documents directory. I will open a terminal here and then git clone. Now we are going to do all of these steps for YOLO V7 Tiny, but you can, you know, do the same step for any other version. It's just that the Tiny performs very fast on Jetson Nano and this is why we are just going to use tiny version. Now let's move inside our repository. Okay, let me just quickly also explain the repository. So this is the file which contains all the list of packages which you need to install before you can start the conversion process from your low v7 to the TensorRT version. So I have already configured my Jetson device. So I'm not going to repeat those steps. You can watch my previous videos. So we will directly jump onto building our TensorRT engine and I have already provided the YOLO v7 tiny model so you don't need to download it you just need to clone the repository and you will find this pretty and tiny model here now let me just quickly do this so first step is to basically convert from tiny model to WTS file so we will simply write generate WTS minus W YOLO v7 And then minus o yolo v7 tiny dot wts this will convert the pt file into wts file and then we'll use the wts file to build the engine so this can take up to you know two or three minutes so we'll resume once that is done okay so it showed some uh, matplotlib errors i'm not sure why it showed these errors but if we do ls here you will notice that we have now successfully uh, converted the pt file into the wts file now what we need to do is we need to now move inside the yolo v7 directory and then here i will create a build directory then i will move inside the build directory and then i will copy my wts file here so yolo v7 tiny dot wts okay now because this is a pre-trained model so we don't need to change any configuration file but if you are doing uh, this for the custom model so you need to change few settings so inside the yolo v7 directory in the include directory you need to open the config.h file 
and then here you need to update this knum classes so if you have a custom model so let's say that custom model is trained for one class or maybe two class so you need to update this 80 to that one or two number because we are using the pre-trained model so pre-trained model already comes with the 80 classes so we don't have to do any changes now we can simply do cmake perfect and now we can do make okay so the make command is also done now we just have to copy this command and then this command will basically build the engine file so let's clear this Now because we are using the tiny model that's why I've mentioned T here but if you are using any other model then you will have to update this parameter accordingly. But ideally it's only good to use tiny versions on the Jetson because it's not that powerful machine. So this can take up to 5 to 10 minutes so we'll resume our video once that is done. Okay so the engine file is now successfully built now let's quickly test our engine file whether it's working fine or not so we will do the testing on the images I'm just going to copy this file let's quickly do so what it's going to do is that we have images folder uh, inside our repository so it's going to do the inferencing over those images files and then it's going to save the results in the build directory so if we go back to the build directory and so these are the results so if we just open this so you'll notice that it has perfectly marked and detected the bus and all these persons as well as all these horses as well these persons and then this football is also being detected here the dog is also here horse and everything so the direction I mean the engine file is now perfectly working fine now let's do one thing let's do the inferencing over the video file to see how good it is performing so if I Yes, so if you go back to our parent directory, inside this you will find an app.py. So this app.py basically has a Python code. And what we are doing inside this Python code is that we are just first loading our model file. And then we are loading the video file and then simply we are uh, reading frame by frame and then we are passing that to the model and then simply showing that. So let's close this and let's quickly open up a terminal and let's run the Python code to see how this performs okay we need to change the directory first okay so python3 app.py Perfect. So see, this seems to be working perfectly fine. Our YOLO V7 tiny model converted into a Tensor RT engine is working perfectly fine and it's detecting all these uh, persons. And the frames per second also looks to be around uh, 16 to 17 frames. I mean, we are not uh, showing the frames, but this is uh, running very smoothly. Now let's try this on a different video as well. Now let me just quickly open the file here and we will change this test video to test video 1.mp4 and let's run this file as well. Perfect. So it's also detecting these cars and the truck and this confirms that the YOLO V7 tiny model with the TensorRT engine is now perfectly working fine and it's detecting all the objects. So I guess that's all for this video. In the next video, we will try to cover the YOLO V7 tiny custom model and then we will see how it performs on uh, our Jetson Nano. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel.